people. Oh, busy, busy, busy. We can't afford to wait. We're stressed, we're demanding, and we want it all now. A tall, skinny mocha latte double shot decaf. We want everything at the click of a button. Internet banking, no queuing, no paperwork. Satellite navigation to find the nearest pizza. Online shopping without moving a muscle. Why get all hot and bothered when you can have it delivered? And now we expect the same from our public services. We want it to be just as simple. Whether it's sorting out a parking permit or finding your nearest recycling point. We want to do it like that. For starters, I'd like everything in one place, with oodles of info 24-7 on the internet and uh, downloadable forms, obviously. And can I get bang up-to-date news with some expert advice on the side? Well, you know what? It's here already. Because all public services are coming together to give us the whole caboodle on a plate. Direct gov. So what is it exactly? Well, it's everything you need from public services all in one place. And it's available online via computer, mobile and digital TV. It's like a huge superstore. Work, education, housing, motoring and lots more. All there to help you get things sorted. You can download forms, make applications online and get expert advice. You name it. All you need to do is remember the name DirectGov and you'll be there in a jiffy. I'll tell you what, let me show you. Janie's just split up with her partner. You're better off without him, you know. Yeah, but I still miss him. Stupid, really. But you're doing really well. You found a flat. Job interview next week. You only moved out a month ago. Oi! Careful, Max! No way! I've got to find him a school next. I don't know where to start. Try direct gov. Janie's straight on it. A few clicks and she's there. All the schools in the area, how far away, Ofsted reports, everything she needs to know to help her make up her mind. And while she's at it, she looks at getting financial help with childcare. Sorted. Hey, uh, Leo, fancy coming to the game tonight? Got a spare ticket. How much is it? To you, mate, 80 quid. <sighs> what? A few beers, quick curry? Maybe a club? Nah. I'm a bit skint. Suit yourself. You're lost, mate. Anyway, I just remembered. I've got a hot date tonight. Yeah? She must be really hot if you've only just remembered. <laughs> Life can sometimes feel like it's carrying on without you. Leo wants a better paid job. And it's time to do something about it. A few jabs and he's interacted with Direct Gov. Now we can find out about courses, search for jobs, and even book a careers advice call. Hello? Hello, Leo. You booked a call for a careers advisor. Oh, hello, dear. He'll soon be on his way to improving his skills. And maybe he'll become an electrician, like his mate Darren. Then he'll have enough dos to go to the big game. Yourself, love. You are exhausted. I'm okay, Mum. Anyway, who else is going to do it? There must be someone. Looking after someone can be hard work. Priya gives direct gov a shot. She finds out how to apply for help and financial support. Bye, Mum. Two weeks later, and Bob's your uncle. Or uh, Jenny in this case. Don't worry, we are just fine. Go ahead and enjoy yourself, for heaven's sake. Hi, really nice to see you. Getting a bit of time off can make all the difference, just like getting public services information direct to those who need it. DirectGov is the biggest door to UK public services you'll ever see. Renew your car tax. Apply for a fishing licence. Find a library. Check your carbon footprint. 
It's all there. Whoever you are, whatever you need from public services, <laughs> and whenever you wish to access them. Direct Gov. It's the future of public services, and it's here now.